Hello and welcome back everyone. Andy Bryan here again from The Soul Pathway and today within this video I wanted to speak with you all about answering to your soul's calling by shifting your consciousness and awareness. Now I've spoken about shifting your consciousness and awareness in a lot of videos previously but I wanted to relate it very much to answering your soul's calling so that you're connected to, to your divine mission and purpose and you're connected with what your soul is guiding to you each and every day. And I believe in every moment our soul is trying to guide us. If only we were to stop, look within ourselves and ask ourselves, where is it guiding us towards? What is it teaching us in these moments? And how can we shift our consciousness and awareness so that we are living from our soul's calling. And I'm really excited about sharing this video with you today. This is something I feel like I've been guided to do and you know, teach with you, share my lessons and learnings um, in order to help you shift your consciousness around certain situations and experiences within your life so that you can connect with your divine mission and purpose so that you can answer to your soul's calling. So let's look at that. I've said in many videos in the past as well, it all starts with understanding our ego conditioning. And within that, we can start to understand the situations and experiences from our past that have shaped us into the people we are today. The reason I speak about that is because if we look at our past and our programming, we tend to you know, act out of that place of ego until we begin to understand it and shift our consciousness around those situations. Say for example you've had many situations in your life where you've felt hurt, you felt let down, you've people said you're not good enough, you're not worthy or, or you even take on that mantle so you're fearful about even living that divine mission and purpose. You know I can, I can definitely much relate to all of that I felt that I've been not good enough, not worthy. And if I reflect upon my past at times, I think much of my pain and hurt from some past experiences have become present in the moment at which I live, which prevents me from moving forward because I bring that pain and discomfort into that moment and I don't feel the beauty of what it's teaching me. Because look at all those conditions, all those patterns that have shaped us. And I speak about very much the hero's journey in your soul pathway. And if we look at our soul pathway, we can look at all the trials and tribulations that we've gone through in our lives. All, the, all those heartbreaks, all those you know, deeper, darker lessons where we've connected with our shadow, we've healed, we've reintegrated. All of those lessons are guiding us to understand what it is that we're here to do as we answer our soul's calling. It begins to unfold before us, but it all starts with shifting that, the, the consciousness around those situations. So what has ca caused you that hurt? What has caused you that pain? What has caused you to bring up this fear within you that you don't deserve this, you're not worthy? Because as you look at all these things, you can not only begin to understand your own pain, <laughs> understand your own discomforts, but you, come, you can move away from that place of hurt into that place of you know, grace and ease within you, where you feel much more at passion, well, much more present and ease within yourself. You start to love yourself within that. But I believe once we start to do that, then we can begin to see past that veil. Because there's often a veil placed in front of us. And that veil that we see, we often don't see through it because we're looking so much at that pain, so much of that hurt, we don't recognize what is past that, the beauty and the joy that lies past that, that lives within you, 
that's what your soul is calling and guiding you to do. There's much love, beauty and forgiveness within yourself as you look through that veil. But as we, as we live through ego consciousness, instead of seeing, that, seeing through that veil or being able to see, see through it, what we tend to do is just see a black wall or, or a white sheet where there's nothing to see through. But yet when you stop, connect and look within yourself, what you start to notice is that you're disconnecting from the busyness of life that we go through, the everyday tasks that we undertake, that we don't notice what is around us at times. We don't notice the things that we're being called to do and I believe we all have a soul mission, a soul purpose if we were to only stop and listen and look within ourselves. I want you to think about all of the experiences that you've gone through in your life, all the lessons and learnings that you've undertaken and as you think about that, think about all of the all of the the hidden gems that are in those moments of pain that are in that shadow because you know they're there i know they're there as well i've gone through some very much dark moments you know that many people call them the dark night of the soul and i'm, I'm sure many of you have gone through that as well and those dark nights of the soul you know there's no doubt about it they are challenging they are difficult. Often you find yourself thinking, I want to be all alone. <laughs> I don't want to come out of this shell. And I want to go into my cave where I feel comfortable. I feel, I feel much, much more at ease with myself so that you can heal, so you can grow. But in those moments of the dark night of the soul, there are many lessons that become present. And I believe they, they often unearth through, through you know, cycles of the moon. So we've got the new moon and the full moon. And when it, within these cycles, secrets become revealed to you in many ways, or aspects within yourself become revealed. That hurt, that pain gets shown to you. And that's when the rawness of who you are gets shown. But again, it's within these moments that we can reflect, we can heal, we can learn about who we are and most importantly we can become whole within ourselves. But all those lessons and learnings will allow us to move forward so that we can live by our divine mission and our sole purpose. But it's all about understanding that. What I would recommend that you do if you have a chance or if you have an Android phone is download my app which is called Awaken Your Soul Pathway which is completely free on uh, Android phones so you can download that. If you don't have an Android phone what I would recommend that you do is go on my website www.awakenyoursoulpathway.com and then forward slash online app and there will be a link below this video anyway and by going through and understanding your journey and your soul pathway, what you'll begin to understand is all of those stages and phases of your journey will help you understand what it is that is being called within you. What is your soul awakening as you connect with who you are and you serve your greater mission in the world? I know this has been slightly a rambling video, but there is so much enlightenment you can gain by understanding yourself, your journey, and what it is that you're here to do. But it all starts with understanding yourself and the lessons you've gone through. Once you can shift your consciousness and awareness around that, you, begin, you can be begin to live in confidence, begin to live at peace, and you can start serving your greater mission and purpose in the world. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video. 
And if you would like any personal support to connect with your journey or soul pathway and your soul purpose, more importantly, then I do have soul purpose sessions which are available on my website and uh, they're available you know, at a discounted rate throughout October. Um, so you can find out more about it on my website, as I've said. And I do look forward to assisting you in living your divine purpose and mission in the world as you connect with who you are and you awaken to all those different aspects within yourself. Thank you for listening and I do look forward to speaking to you all again soon. And with that, I will say bye for now.